<laughs> he said, I better not tend to pay too much, and then he just <laughs> dumps the clutch. <laughs> it's awesome. Awesome, I love it. Everybody's riding the Tri-Z, man. We got Chad Smith out there on it. Pro motocross rider. Oh! <laughs> I gotta hear from the pro, man. It's awesome, dude. I love this thing. <laughs> Thought you were gonna lose it over time. there. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been on three. I love it. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? It's so much fun. Well, guys, we made it. We're at Little Sahara Sand Dunes. I don't know if you guys can see behind us, but uh, pretty much everybody's gone. So I decided to do things a little bit differently this year and just enjoy the event. We did quite a bit of riding on the three-wheeler and uh, may or may not have rolled it. We'll get to that in a little bit, I guess. But right uh, standing next to me, this is Virgil. Hello, this everyone. Is the, the owner of Redo Banshee. A great source of Banshee parts. And then we've got Liam from Power Sports Nation. Liam is, uh, I couldn't do this video without him, and his brother was here too, but Liam is a part of Power Sports Nation. He's the uh, son of the owner, and uh, just great, great dude. And he's the main reason that this Tri-Z is here. So we're just gonna take it out ripping on the sand dunes and try not to roll it. Also, uh, Liam is wearing Crocs. <laughs> All right, guys, so here we are, and you can see, man, out on the sand, I feel like it really just looks like it's at home. And uh, we've got the dunes to ourselves today, man. There's, I see one person over there. It was not like this this weekend, man. There were people flying all over the place. It was a really awesome event. There were over 200 250Rs here, and uh, this uh, this yellow banana might have slipped in the, 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 uh, the group photo, so. But it just looks really good. We're gonna get her good and warm and uh, do a couple pulls on it. And I've learned, you know, this guy, you gotta remind, remember, first time a uh, three-wheeler experience was yesterday. And I've learned there's, uh, there's a special way to ride these things, and I'm still learning because uh, I actually did roll it yesterday. And uh, I've discovered that going too far forward, leaning too far forward is uh, it's not a good thing with these things. So keeping my, my, uh, my ass over the rear end seems to be a little bit better. And uh, we're just gonna try not to crash it, but I'll tell you what, dude, I had quite a few people ride this yesterday and everybody just had a blast on it. It's really just a really fun machine. You can see I got it dialed in quite a bit better. I actually was hanging out with Dave Moore a lot on this trip and we sat down and got her dialed in on the money. It wasn't that far off. It was a couple jet sizes. I don't think those edges are doing it any favors. <laughs> Buddy, this thing is one of the best running tri -Zs I've ever been on. For real? For real, I'm not bullshitting you. This thing's got good power. <laughs> That's the reason I got rid of the tri -Zs in the early days, because they just they didn't run good. This thing runs amazing. I guess that boost port and uh, raising the exhaust port and all that and the carburetor made a big difference. Yeah, I mean, and it handles good. See, Dave's an old school trike guy, so he knows the difference. I, I can't even tell by comparison because I've never, I've really never ridden a three wheeler. It just feels so good. Dude, that's awesome. That makes me so happy. It makes me rethink my hatred for tri Z. <laughs> you can quote me on that. That's awesome. We're good now, man. You guys will see it runs really, really good. Just give you guys a good look at this thing, man. I'm just super happy with this thing. It's awesome to put stuff together like this. It can be really nerve, nerve wracking, you know, driving it. 1500 miles out here and then you know sometimes things just don't work or you got to tweak them and I'm sure there's still some things that it needs and it just I love this thing dude yeah all right let's give it a go choppy out today as you guys can see we can try to kind of go through some of these twisties and stuff 
but that's actually where I rolled it. It just sings, man. It runs really, really good. on your A game. The second you start kind of lazy riding, the front end will kind of kind of catch in the sand and it wants to it just wants to roll forward on you. So you definitely have to pay attention when you're riding. De definitely no lazy riding. <laughs> beats you up man <laughs> I think just because you have to pay attention so much it, it really it gets to you Let's see if we can find some smooth sand it's really, really rough, and see if we can do like a a top speed run with it. Because on this choppy stuff, it, it beats the hell out of you, man. And I'm not gonna lie, sometimes when it gets really choppy, I feel like I'm gonna slip off these damn pegs, and that terrifies me. So this is actually where everybody was drag racing yesterday. But as you can see, it's already really choppy. It's Sunday, so, you know, I don't frequent the dunes very much, but from what I understand, midweek is the money spot because right now, all week, everybody's been tearing up the dunes, so they get kind of choppy. And then during the week, the wind kind of smooths everything out. And like, if you can get here like Wednesday, that's the time to get here. So not exactly smooth, but it'll do. good it's not like crazy impressive but you gotta remember it's pretty much a stock 250 you got the ported I ported it I did the um, exhaust port I raised that 1.5 millimeters and we added that boost port and I have never ridden a stock tri Z so we don't have too much to compare to but there were a couple people here that have ridden tri Z's before and they said that this one runs really good so I'm pretty happy with it. It's definitely very fun. Alright, now we'll do a second gear launch. See how this fares out. Now you guys may notice it's not like wheeling out of the hole. These edge paddles actually don't hook that great. They're great paddles, but they're not like, that's not really their specialty. And I put these on here for that reason because I just assumed that a three-wheeler is gonna be really, really front end light and not getting like crazy hook off the start. I think these actually help instead of wheeling all the time. All right, second gear. Ah, I don't think it's got it, man. I don't think we'd have to drop some, uh, some 
gear it down a little bit. <laughs> I just realized that that was first gear. I definitely think the way that it's geared, definitely first gear starts. So much fun. I don't think we're getting second gear. It's got to be geared down. First gear is money though, for sure. So there's a pretty cool tree shoot spot. We're going to cruise over there now. See how it does on the hills. I wanted to stop to take a minute to thank you for making it this far into the video. I also wanted to stop to thank the companies and sponsors that are helping to make this project possible. Both of these Tri-Zs came from Power Sports Nation. Power Sports Nation is the largest parts provider for ATVs and UTVs in the country. If you guys follow the channel, you've probably seen me name drop them quite a few times. Now, if you are looking for parts, I encourage you to go to the Power Sports Nation website. While they did provide the parts for this project, what they specialize in is utility ATVs and side-by-side -side parts. The search engine on their website works great and it's consistently updated with the new machines and parts that they get into inventory. I'd also like to thank Bonehead Performance Coatings, BBC Trikes, Rocket Ron Racing, Rocky Mountain ATV, Moto Blast, Hermosi, and Wicked Metal Designs. These are all companies I trust and most of them I use on a regular basis. Links and promo codes will be listed in the description below. If you're enjoying the video so far and looking for a way to help out, giving the video a thumbs up, leaving a comment below, or subscribing to the channel all help out a ton. Products and tools in the video are listed in the description below and purchasing from those links does help me out a lot. I get a small kickback from that and there's no extra cost to you. And if you're looking to support the channel even further, Further, there is the option to join all channel members get guaranteed responses to their YouTube comments all right guys I am done talking let's get back to the video man is that some thick sand it is fluffy man just sinking right into it didn't make that. Now this is nice smooth sand. Oh, you can feel though how soft it is. Wow. Whoa, whoa, shit. God damn. We're just sliding down this hill. Whoa. <laughs> this is going sideways on me. Look at that. This sand is so soft. Oh. Yeah, my boots just sinking right into it. I think you really just gotta keep moving. As soon as you start hitting the front brake, it just slides. It runs really great, you just gotta keep moving. Even going down, if you just try to like slow down, it wants to like slip off the trail. Really? You want to ride it? <sighs> it would. <laughs> Dude, Virgil is a savage. Virgil's been in the game for a long time. I think he's 53 years old. You know, he's like not new to the three-wheeler game at all. And he actually just broke his femur doing like a fourth gear pull on a banshee hitting whoops. <laughs> I'm 
glad someone can ride this thing. That was pretty sick. <laughs> Bro, does that sound good or what? It sounds really good. Dude, it just sounds so good. <laughs> I'm glad someone knows how to ride that thing. <laughs> now, wait, get his crutch, get his crutch. <laughs> Dude, that thing sounds incredible. It runs good, it really does run good. It's got such a strong mid range. Yeah, I'm man. I'm impressed with the mid range. I think if it had bet, like uh, better paddles, it would be worse. Yeah, it's those are just the right bite. Yeah, because uh, dude, you were, I mean, dude, you were throwing some roosts going up those hills. Put it, out here at the top and I was, That was sick when you did that little jump. Yeah. Broken loose. <laughs> did I roost you? I didn't mean to. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Straight to the base. Well, the camera got it too, here. so it looked real cool. <laughs> <laughs> you did it justice, man. Yeah, it runs good. I I love the mid-range. It's so fat in the mid-range. Yeah. I'm not very good at riding three-wheelers, but neither are you. Unless you're Virgil from this video, he's pretty good. But there is one thing that I'm good at, and that's telling horsepower. Whether it's a Hoover vacuum or a go-ped Bigfoot, I can tell you the numbers. Let's have a look at this Tri-Z. As you can see on our certified ass dyno, I've already got some markings. So this is the stock horsepower for the Tri-Z. I actually did get this graph, which is, it just did not print out very well, but you know, what's, it's okay. This is, these are the uh, the Honda ATC 250R, Kawasaki Takati, and Yamaha Tri-Z from Dirt Wheels Magazine in probably like 1985. And if you guys can see this one line, that is the Tri-Z, it got like 30 horsepower. So I redid that right here. That is about the stock curve. Now with this gold, with this gold pen, we're gonna do the phase 1.5. So that's after doing, uh, raising the exhaust port, adding the boost port, doing a 38 millimeter carb, uh, some custom changes I did in that carb, uh, Boyson reeds, exhaust uh, and aftermarket intake so that's quite a bit especially that intake makes a huge difference and we are going to with my certified ass dyno we're going to start down here right off the bat the power does come on quite a bit better now i did not get to ride a stock tri-z but you can see there's really not too much down low i would say that it comes on a bit sooner and definitely broadens out the power band and I would say it shoots up, gets to the power a little bit earlier, and realistically, I would say this engine is making between 40 and 50 horsepower. Probably in the lower end of that, we're gonna say right around here at about 43 horsepower. It's got a nice broad power band and decent over rev, and it kind of falls off, but not too bad, but definitely significantly better than stock. In fact, I might even be inclined to raise the mid-range up to about here, because it really does have significantly better mid-range. Right about here is where the pucker factor hops on board and you feel like you're about to roll the damn thing but isn't that what we all want in a three-wheeler i know that's what i want in a three-wheeler to constantly feel like you're going to be thrown off and endure a serious injury only to undergo excruciating pain in the hospital for months after and that is your official ass time all right liam you gotta ride bro all right i need to borrow a helmet and crocs no problem Gonna head to the bottom of the hill here see if we can get some shots from the bottom i'm just really happy 
it's running really, really well. Sounds really good. It's got good power. And it's just a hell of a lot of fun, man. You just have to be careful. You really do. It's super fun, dude. If you've never ridden a three-wheeler, it is an experience that you just have to, you gotta try it, dude. Nobody can really tell you what it's like. Out of everybody here, I'm probably the lousiest rider. So it's good to see some other people hop on this thing and really see what it can do. Oh! Whoa, dude! <laughs> that was close, bro. Body weight so hard, dude. Now, now I don't feel so bad about yesterday. <laughs> this thing's whooping my ass. These guys are making over fun of me. Just riding it like it's nothing. I'm yeah, over dude, here, just... dude. Virgil, I'm telling you, like this thing, he's up he's there like... laughing at us. Dude's got a broken leg and he's out riding both of us <laughs> young bucks. And I'm over here, just like <laughs> this thing, like rips. It, it you th hit the throttle, the front end will come up, and you got some extra weight on the rear. You can't, <laughs> as you, see you what saw, I... you can't stop it. <laughs> You see what I'm saying though, dude? As soon as you get tired, <laughs> it, dude, you just gotta be on your A game, your man. Your arms just go noodles. <laughs> so you can ride it up. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> yeah, dude, I was like looking at the camera and not you, and I saw you going back. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, he was scary. It just started eating really good. I was like, all right, we're done. <laughs> dude, <laughs> smoking, bro. <laughs> Well guys, I think we're gonna wrap it up because I feel like me and Liam being like the inexperienced people on three-wheelers, both starting to, as soon as you start to get tired, like you have to be on your A-game the whole time. And then Virgil's over here laughing his ass off. <laughs> Make, he looks like a superstar on this damn thing. But what did you say a few minutes ago? You were summing this up. It's like a bucking bull. It just, it's hard to control after a while and it just wants to get rid of you. It doesn't want you on it at all. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But it's uh, it's just a handful, man. It's so much fun, though, but it's just, like, scary. How do you feel about it, Virgil? Well, I've been slinging my leg over a three-wheeler longer than these two guys have been alive, so I have just a little bit more experience on them with, than these guys. But uh, I, I really like the bike. It rode really good. I was able to climb anywhere I wanted to go with it, and it's. I, I already told Mike, if he wants to sell it, I want to buy it. <laughs> well, shit, man. <laughs> Well, I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a ton. And consider subscribing for more videos like this. Let me know in the comments section below. What do you think of the Tri-Z build? Is it a good resto mod? Does it suck? I want to know either way. I'll see you guys in the next video. Big thank you to PSN for giving us these machines to bring back to life. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Once we were done riding, I headed to Norfolk, Nebraska to visit the Power Sports Nation headquarters. I was excited to see Todd, the owner, and to see his reaction to seeing the Tri-Z for the very first time since it's been restored. Is this like a gender reveal? I know, right? <laughs> Happy birthday to... What do you think, Chad? <laughs> cool. It's what a Tri-Z should have always been. Now, it's already been rolled three times. Yeah, twice by me, once by Liam. 
<laughs> Why did it hurt it? Can you, you find it? it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Right there. Yeah, it rolled it this way. It. And I'm, I think it probably dug this. That's rub marks. So it must have come up. Was that operator error or equipment error? That would be operator error for sure. Yeah. Wow. More balls and brains or what? <laughs> there was, you know what? Probably more, uh, more balls than skill. <laughs> it, it's, well, it's it's now, it wants to roll, I'll tell you what. How wide, how much wider is the axle than a... You know, I actually don't know. So it's actually as narrow as that axle can go. If you look here, it's got the spacers. Uh -huh. It can come out an inch and a half on each side. So we could make it three inches wider. But all the way maxed out, the tires are beyond outside the fender. And I thought it looked kind of goofy. So it is still wider. Um, stock. Actually, we could figure it out because I brought the bin of other parts and I have the stock axle. It's crazy. Yeah. Looks amazing. And you never, you restored the plastic that you restored. You didn't paint that. That's the original. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. This, uh, this is from aftermarket DC plastics. But I just it, buffed them. This is the original plastic. And that was the painted thing. That, that was you, the painted thing. Yes. And how long did that take you? Uh, probably about 10 hours. So I don't know if you remember, but there was a lump here. Mm -hmm. I thought that they painted over the sticker. That lump was from, there, there was no sticker under the, under the paint. I stripped it and it was just a lump. I guess the sticker actually had protected it from decay in that area. So I just wet sanded it and wet sanded it and wet sanded it. But you could still see where it was. And then once you put the new decal on there, it kind of hides it. But a lot of time went into that. And what did you think of the bars when you were on the trails? I liked it. I'm used to those, but everybody that Man tried them. sit on it? Absolutely. <laughs> Did you sit on it, Chet? Yeah. Wow, those are high. That's awesome. I remember, what's it sat up there for? Ian, how long has it sat up there? Uh, 10 years. Never thought it would be back to this position <laughs> in my entire life. So the original ones were a Trimoto 125. That was Yamaha's answer to the ATC 110. <clears throat> and some stuff, stuff went on in my life and Chad was nice enough and we'd go to his dad's shop and borrow them and bring them out to my house brand new. And my house acreage at that time kind of sat on a slant and I was not very good with three wheelers and I maybe hit the fence more than once and we scratched the forks up pretty good. And we took them back to the shop and spray painted them horribly. Of course, they were selling for $795, $795. And his dad came out and was standing on my deck looking, and he sees all these tracks, which he knows what they're from. And he, yeah, he was goes, so... It looks like somebody's been riding three-wheelers out here. Because <laughs> he, he had a key to the shop, so we would just go borrow stuff and try it out. And oh, yeah, He told me a little bit about that. You know, <laughs> he said... Be, People would, would challenge him yeah. to a showroom bike, yeah. <laughs> a drag race, and go, go so beat the him and new, then put it back. The, the next generation of that was called the YT175, which is a 175cc three-wheeler two-stroke. And they were a lot faster than the Hondas because they were two-strokes and a little lighter. The Tri-Z now sits in Norfolk, Nebraska at the Power Sports Nation headquarters in the showroom. It was awesome to meet several of the employees and to see the reaction to the Tri-Z after seeing it for the last 10 years sitting up on the shelf in its previous condition. If you're in the Norfolk area, make sure to stop in the Power Sports Nation headquarters and take a look at the Tri-Z for yourself. Until the next video, guys, I will see you then. Peace out.